Natasha. Hey. Hi. Oh, um, this is Dr. Amora Isles, who you spoke to on the phone. Hello. What's that thing? That? That is a hug-me-tight teddy bear. You know, in case you get lonely. I'm not really a hugger. And that's not really a bear. I didn't want to say anything, but she's right. It's a panda. Aelorapata melanoleuca. Which literally translates to black and white cat foot, not barefoot. More closely related to raccoons than to bears. Yeah, I am afraid not. Uh, a recent national science study of DNA concluded that pandas are actually more closely related to the spectacled bear of South Africa than to raccoons. Maybe. But their skull and dental structures don't resemble bears, their feet don't have heel pads, and they don't hibernate, so if they are bears, then they're all alone on their own little bear island. So we're agreed. It's part panda, part bear, part raccoon, part cat. I'm not agreeing to that. Jane, that is ridiculous. Yes, it is absolutely ridiculous that a stuffed animal could be genetically incorrect. 